All right, today I'm gonna talk about uh, the bag because I've been debating myself whether to make a video about uh, my favorite dub bag or not. And at the end of the day, I think it's probably worth a video because there's so many, um, you know, briefcase and bag video out there, but not a lot of uh, in depth about what what is considered a good dub bag. So I decided to uh, talk about this today. So you can see, I got a lot of uh, stuff here. I'm gonna go very one by one why I, 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 I pack, I pack all this in my dub bag. Um, okay, so here's the thing. Um, I have a lot of dub bag, <laughs> uh, but the the most significant um, design differences to me is whether it's a leather dub bag like this one, or it's something like um, the Eagle Creek, like this one. More outdoorsy, uh, more um, uh, fabric, not really uh, leather. So to me, those are the main two differences. So I decided to talk about my favorite one, which is a a, um, a leather version of it, because I, I, I as you, as you know, I like things that all age really well over time, and it looks better over time. Um, that eagle creep may not fit the my uh, requirement there. So I definitely love a uh, leather version. I have another um, dub bag which is also made in leather, made by uh, a different uh, company. I think it's called the Range Leather. And I'll talk about the difference later. But let me cover my favorite one, which is also, I think, is the best out there in terms of uh, size, functionality, uh, price, and also uh, the leather being uh, is made out of. And uh, it's wonderful. So first, first of all, um, that this is what I always pack with me when I go on a uh, two day plus trip, uh, out of town trip. So I definitely bring my uh, my, you know, my shave equipment here. So I have a shaver. I have my brush. I have my uh, shaving cream. It can all put it here pretty comfortably. And then uh, definitely toothbrush, right? Electric one. And then uh, hair trimmer, nose hair trimmer. I always bring one of these with me just in case I need it. Nail clipper. And then um, antibiotic cream. In case I run into any problem cutting myself, paper cut or whatever, I, I, I always put this one first. Um, my uh, retainer, my uh, towel, and my freshener, and my uh, hair gel. So this is, you can see, fit very comfortably in, uh, in the dub bag here. Okay, I think I am about maybe 70% full and I still have room in case I want to put something else like a, if I don't want to bring, bring my uh, 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 razor eraser here I can bring uh, a electric razor, uh, razor or uh, a you know hand soap or my wife's uh, uh, hygiene uh, toiletry stuff so I can put more than just for myself. I can put my kids and my wife's uh, stuff here as well. So this is like a really good size. And one of the main features I like is that it's lined. <laughs> so it has nice fabric inside. It doesn't look just raw leather inside. And that's awesome feature. The second awesome feature is when it open, you don't have to open it with hands like this and then grab stuff. You can just open it completely and just shove to the back and just hang it like this. You will be amazed how amazing this feature is, especially when you're into one of those um, hotel, they have a small sink area and you have only a tiny area you put the stuff in. You know, your sink is here, your thing is on the side and, and you have to constantly open it up like this with your hand to scratch it open so you can grab stuff with two hands. This one, you can just open it like this. 
if there's anything that you've done, uh, say you finished brushing your teeth, right? And you want something to just, you got no kind of space, you want it air dry, you can just hang it like this. You know, there's so many rooms you can play around with it. And you don't have to worry about it. this thing keep closing down on you. Uh, it's just constantly keeping it open, right? I just love it. And also, um, this one has a really strong uh, magnet here. So this one just keep it closed like that. And you can pretty much do it one hand and close it, you know. It's very well built um, uh, material. Stitching is awesome. Uh, the zipper is uh, very high quality. And also there's a handle here, which is also very convenient. You can just hold it like this. And the, uh, the rivet here is very nicely made. Nice to the hand. And smell good. The leather is really high quality le uh, vegetable tan leather. So this thing runs about $110 if I remember correctly. And it always runs out of stock. So if you intend to buy one, I, in, I, I suggest you, um, you know, set yourself to be notified if, if, in case it runs out of stock. So whenever they got it, you can uh, buy it pretty much immediately, right? So this is what I always carry with me. Um, the extra room is important to me because I, as I said, I got family and they tend to put the stuff here with me. So I'd rather bring one toiletry bag, uh, dub kit, than, you know, two or three. It's just, there's not enough countertop space in hotel rooms. So I, I just want maybe one as much as, uh, as little as possible. So people say, uh, so what are the good feature about this one? Um, so I mentioned that I can open it like this and just shove it in here. So keep it open. Another feature is I can just hang it up like this, right? So, you know, in the hotel, you got some hope like this. You can just hang it up like this. It's not going to fall because of the angle. So this is awesome feature. I'm not sure if this is intentional or what, but to me, this is, this is amazing. Okay, so this is uh, why I love this dub bag so much. Now, I also have some other dub bags. I'm going to show you another letter one, which is really well regarded out there. The range letter, uh, dub bag made out of uh, horn letter. These things smell really good. And it looks awesome and soft also but the only problem I, I, I have with this one is um, once you open the zipper it's pretty hard to um, to access the interior you ha always have to like keep it open like this and because of the height it's not as high as this one here so it kind of limit you how you can pack your stuff, the orientation of it. So say the uh, shaving cream I have here is the uh, the, sh the shaving soap in a odd shape. I can put it like vertically or horizontally, right? In here, I cannot. It kind of limit me, can only go uh, in the bottom. That kind of limit the way of how I can pack stuff. So as a result, this one, well, it kind of on, in the way of the shaving soap, that means I have to put it there. So it kind of makes you think more in, term of, in terms of how you can pack your stuff. Not as much uh, flexibility. Okay, so I really like the height of this stub bag compared to this one. Um, Length-wise, it's about the same, but height is really um, significantly uh, more roomy. You can see side by side here. The uh, Saturn page and the range letter. It's priced about the same, so about hundred dollar or something. Okay, but I like this one so much more. Uh, this one I use it as a uh, secondary one now. If this one for my whole family is not enough room, I bring this one along. Or if I'm simply going a one or two day trip, and I know I don't have to pack so many, just a few items, I use this one. It's just smaller. Okay. So that's the uh, leather version. I also have the uh, the uh, Eco Creek. 
version. This is my first stuff bag. I, I buy it to go camping and go to uh, car camping with my kids, my family with it. I still use it. It's still good. Um, one good thing about non-leather duff bag is that I don't worry about have to worry about getting it dirty in the wilderness. If it get too dirty, well, I'm not gonna feel too bad about it. It's not too, it's not too expensive. Um, I don't mind to put it in some odd, uh, dirty, uh, outdoor bathroom. You know, it's okay. Um, but if I'm traveling a business trip wise, I definitely uh, bring my uh, leather one. It, it just feels a little bit more uh, appropriate for the situation. So this is uh. It's equal quick. Um, nothing wrong with it. Price wise is awesome. Uh, you can also hang it up like this. Lots of room. I, I think the capacity is slightly in between the um, the Saturn page and the, uh, the range that is like in the middle, capacity wise. Okay. All right. So this one is the best. I think it's considered the best I have, and perhaps the best out there. Okay, once again, leather is really fake, vegetable hand, vegetable hand leather. Wonderful ways of uh, handle to open it. A handle to hand carry or hang it up. Uh, a good way to uh, put it, put the opening uh, cover here, so you can access your stuff really comfortably. Oh, I forgot to mention, there's also a, um, a zipper here, you can see. So if you have something that you don't want your kid to touch, like a uh, razor blade or or needle or something that's sharp, you can put it here. Okay. All right. So this is my uh, favorite dub bag. I wish that it's still in stock. And I post a link where you can uh, where you can find it. Okay. Well, I hope you enjoy this one and. Let me know if you got one of these and which is your, your best dub bag out there. Share with me and uh, we can talk about it. Okay, thank you guys.